does not lock open. Probably need a little oil, but she runs. Target real quick, y'all, out of all those glocks. I think we're doing pretty fair for what we're doing. What's going on guys? We back here with another one. Go ahead and hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification. Uh, get the comment in, in the section. Let us know what you guys are looking for, what guns that you like, what guns that you are interested in. Maybe we can get them on the channel. Alright, uh, we're going to go ahead. We got a Glock video here today, you guys, just to see what Glock would be the, I guess, best gun for the all-around purpose situation. Uh, we're going to play with a few that we have, and let's see which one would you pick. Alright, we're going to start with the Glock Gen 3 19. This is the G9. Everything is clear here. Safe. Always practice gun safety first. That's the most important thing when you're dealing with a firearm. Alright, this gun here is it's a nice gun. Um, for me, personally, I don't know if it's more because of my hand size. I don't like the grooves. Maybe it's uh, better off for, you know, guys with just a little bit smaller hands. I'm not sure. But all in all, it's a very good gun. It shoots. It's accurate. It's a Glock. Um, let me, I tell you, I'm not actually a Glock fan, but I got, what, five, six here? Uh, well, at least, what, five on the table now? And so, yeah. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the next gun that we have. You guys let me know what you think about the Gen 3. Glock 19. Uh, like I said, this is a standard gun. What is it? Are we holding 16? Oh, yep, 15 rounds plus one. I always count my one in the head because I always keep my gun loaded when I'm carrying. So 15 rounds in the magazine, one loaded. If you do like to keep it loaded, I would tell you to, but go with what you're comfortable with. Another Glock 19. This gun here, clear. This is the Glock 19, but this is the Glock 19 Mariner. Yes, this has the finger grooves, but this is actually a little bit better for me because we have this extra extension here in the magazine. All right, this gun here holds 15 rounds, but with the extension on there, that makes it 17 plus one. Now you're at uh, what, 18 rounds. Pretty good package size deal, so this actually works on my hand a little bit better. Still not a big, big, um, Fan of, like I said, the finger grooves on the Glock uh, Gen 3s and 4s. I'm more of a 5 guy, but you let me know. The difference between these two guns is this is actually a gun that was made for a military contract outside of the U.S., I believe. Um, pretty much the gun can shoot underwater um, at a higher capacity level than most Glocks are normally able to do. Um, like I said, I got it for the simple fact I've never even shot it. Uh, you guys let me know, should I? Uh, the Glock 19, the first one, the Gen 3, shot pretty good. I kept this one for an investment purpose. Um, like I said, if you can see. Alright, this baby is it's nice. I like it. Haven't shot it, but I like it. Funny, right? <laughs> that's how it's gun, guys. Right, we can get something, never shoot it, but we just know that that's one of our favorite toys. All right, here we have the big daddy right here. This is the Glock 17. 
All right, this is what I call an easy shoot. A easy shooter, easy shot. Um, this one here has the O light on here. That's good for anything in any situation. Good for self defense, home defense. Um, you never know when the lights are gonna go out, right? We also have a Hollison on here, the 507. Uh, this thing is very, very nice. I love it, like I said, because what it has that solar panel on there. Also because it has the options of the three uh, reticle short choices. Now we got the dot, we got the circle, and we also got the circle with the with the dot as well. The mechanism on your gun, better device, better upgrades. The, the sights that come on the Glocks normally are plastic. So these here are still nice and sturdy. Um, I love the fact that we have the flared out mag wheel there. Makes it easier for reloads. Here we have the uh, good old cheap everyday hockey tape that anybody can go get at your local stores. It looks good, feels great. I can tell you this right now, this gun is not coming out of my hand with this on here. It actually feels like it's sticking. All right, like I said, Glock 17, a very, very good shot. Would I conceal carry this? Yes, I would. If you had the correct holster, that's what we can get into. You'll be able to conceal carry anything. All right, don't let the size gun fool you. It's the holster that helps you conceal and be comfortable. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and... Hmm, should we play with the Glock 19X? Uh, this one here is... This is my baby. Uh, we're clear. Everything is empty. Uh, pretty much we have the O-Light on here. Right? We got a Cerakoted gold barrel in this baby. Um, I wanted to get that done. So this gun would be kind of my John Wick kind of gun, I guess, if you want to call it that. Right? Um, we also have the Glock Night Sights on there. Upgraded steel. Um, like I said, everything about this gun is just beautiful. The color waves is somewhat rare. They were supposed to stop making it, but then they continued to make it. But then the price went up. And now the price is more fair. Come to Uncoil. We be having these all the time. What around 700 bucks, I think. 725 maybe. Uh, best prices, man. Always remember to find your best prices, whether it's on firearms, accessories, suppressors, and Livonia, man. Uncoil. Here we have the Glock 45. I love this baby. As you can see, we are clear. Safety first, as I always say. All right? This thing here is a great shooter. Um, as you can see, I have a threaded barrel on this thing. Well, actually, I take that back. This is not threaded. This is a fluted barrel. Um, let me get my, my words correct. This is a fluted barrel. So I used to have most of my guns suppressed. Um, but that's the day for another story. At the end of the day, we have a rose gold type of setup here, almost copperish, depending on which angle you look at it from. Um, very, very smooth. So what this Glock 45 is, is actually a 9mm, okay, just as well as all of these firearms. All of them are 9mm. The reason why this is the Glock 45, not 45 caliber, but Glock 45 is because what they did was they took the Glock 17, and they took the lower frame of this gun for guys that have bigger hands, like myself. And then they took the Glock 19, and they took the upper frame and the slide, is what we call it, and they mounted it to this gun here. So that allows you to have a shorter barrel for easier concealment, but with a larger grip. So that way, if you have bigger hands, you can get the whole bottom of your, your pinky on that thing. Nothing better than having control on your gun, right? Um, so we have a couple upgrades here. We got the extended uh, mag release button there that makes it a lot easier to drop that mag out, get the next one in there if you ever need to do so. Um, we also have very, very good and smooth extended uh, slide releases, right? We have very, very good slide releases. This thing is very nice, very beautiful, very, very, very smooth. We have a TLR1 stream light on this baby. It's nice. I love it. I love it to death. Um, it gets bright. If you leave it on long enough, it'll actually burn you. I tell you that right now. So, 
all in all, which Glock would you take? I know which one I would take for my everyday carry slash best case scenario. Um, if you want to know, I tell you. I tell you. All right, which one you think? This one. These. I'm gonna take my Glock 45. And the only reason I say that is because like I tell you, you get the best of both worlds. My hands are nice and comfortable on this gun. I know that it's not gonna leave out of it. I also know that I have a smaller frame. That way if this gun ever was to need to be in a, in a tighter situation where I have tighter clothes on, I have, I have a little bit of an easier time to conceal this weapon. All right, nothing against my 17, nothing against the 19X. I love this gun. But if I must have to choose, if I had to choose one, I'd rather keep this one kind of in the glass, you know, sitting at home, not getting beat up on and all that stuff. And I take the good old Glock 45. It's black. It's good to go. I know how to work all of the weapons. Um, like I said, if you want to know, this magazine here comes out of what, the Glock 19X. Fits perfectly in the Glock 45. Perfect fit. The Glock 17 fits perfect right in the Glock 17. I mean, that's why Glock is a, a they're headed again.